got this package from Questbridge. Uh, ignore my dirty clothes. Let's see what's inside. I'm hoping it's like a shirt or something. Oh, oh, what? Wait, this is cool. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It says, wow. What's up y'all, my name is Arnold and I recently graduated Yale as a Questbridge scholar. And in this video, I'll be talking about the Questbridge application process, as well as my own experience applying to colleges as a Questbridge scholar, my experiences joining the Questbridge chapter at Yale, as well as now graduating as a QB alumni. So first off, what is Questbridge? Because I can't phrase it any better myself. Questbridge is a national nonprofit based in Palo Alto, California, that connects the nation's most exceptional low-income youth with leading colleges and opportunities. What Questbridge basically does is provides help, resources, and opportunities for low-income students who generally come from a first generation background. More specifically, however, they have two main ways of doing this. The first way is through the Questbridge College Prep Scholars Program, and the second way is through the Questbridge National College Match Program. So the College Prep Scholar Program is essentially an award that is given to high school juniors who come from lower income backgrounds. You fill out an application your junior year, and if accepted, you get this award, but this award also has many different perks. For example, it's a pretty competitive program, so it really looks good when you apply to colleges, and it also gives you a head start if you want to apply to the National College Match Finalist Program as a senior, which I'll get to in a bit. Besides the award itself, you also get invited into the Questbridge College Prep Scholars group with other students who also got accepted. You can also attend an exclusive conference that is provided with the award. I'll talk about my own specific experiences with that in a bit. Now for the second program that I mentioned, the National College Match Finalist Program, this is pretty much what Questbridge is very famous for. So during your junior year, basically what you can do is you can apply to this program. And if accepted, not only do you have the competitive advantage of having this award on your resume, the National College Match Finalist Award, but what this program allows you to do is that if you decide to apply through the National college match program what you do is that you rank up to 12 of the Questbridge college partner programs and they have a list of this online you basically rank this list in terms of preferences of which colleges you want to attend so for example if Yale is your number one then you put Yale number one and then Princeton is number two but once again only for the colleges that qualify the highest ranking college on the list that you are accepted to Questbridge basically gives you a full ride to attend that college now obviously this sounds really cool but there is a little bit of tea that is associated with that so I'll tell you that in a bit in terms of my experiences with Questbridge as a high schooler I actually got accepted to both programs the Questbridge College Prep Scholar Program and the Questbridge National College Match Program. During my junior year, I think one of my guidance counselors or teachers recommended this program for me. So I applied my junior year and I remember submitting my PSAT score, I think, because I didn't take the SAT at junior year. Also like letters of recommendation as well as essays. Long story short, I was accepted to the program. And I think one of the main perks that I got was because I was accepted, I was invited into an exclusive Yale Questbridge National College Match Conference. It was a cool time. We were there for a day and I was able to represent my school. And there were basically a bunch of resources, workshops, talks, met a lot of the people, explored Yale's campus. It was really fun definitely got me more excited about it, inspired me, motivated me, especially being with a group of other like-minded individuals who come from similar backgrounds. I was also invited into a private Facebook group with these people. And actually some of the people that I met then, I still connect with today. And some of them actually committed to and got into Yale as well. I also think that one of the main benefits was how this jump started my application process a lot earlier, because even though I'm not applying to colleges junior year, this application process sort of mimicked that in some ways and helped me a lot in terms of self-reflection and preparation for the process. The college prep scholar program also had other perks and awards and I'm looking at the website and it says how you could potentially get a full scholarship to a college summer program I did not get that at all. Quest for Excellence Awards, such as $1,000 for a new laptop or other resources. So that, I actually did have the opportunity, but you have to actually apply for those once you are accepted as a Questbridge College Prep Scholar. I think it's just like a short essay, but I didn't get any of that, so. Exclusive access to a Questbridge National College Admissions Conference. Yes, I got that. I chose Yale specifically for that one. I believe you get to choose which one that you want to attend depending on your distance and interest. And there are other cool resources here that I'm not gonna read aloud, but you can pause the video and check it out. So during the summer after my junior year, I applied to the National College Match Finalist Program, and luckily and gratefully enough, I was also accepted to that. This application was a little bit more intensive, but I believed it also required things like your test scores, your grades, your current transcript, essays, letters of recommendation. So the thing about Questbridge is that you have three options if you're accepted as a Questbridge National College Match Finalist. Ooh, that's a mouthful. The first option is to actually go forward with this process, which is what I mentioned before, where you rank up to 12 of the partner colleges and see which one you get accepted to. And the highest one that you rank that you get into, you get a full ride with. So through that process, there's actually a personalized QuestBridge application for you. You wouldn't be submitting the Common App or Coalition application. The questions tend to be a lot more detailed and highlight your specific circumstances, especially as a low income student. The second option is to apply as a QuestBridge National College Match finalist, but only use it as an award for your Common App application through a single choice early action 
option program. The last option is to do the same thing, but through regular decision. I believe you can also do the same thing through coalition application, but I'm not familiar with that at all. Um, so don't rely on me for that. What I ended up doing is that I listed this award on my common application and I applied to Yale Single Trust Early Action because I really wanted to go to Yale. I knew that was my number one school. And luckily enough, I did get in through the Single Trust Early Action program. Initially, my way of thinking, okay, this is a bit cynical and a bit weird, but I initially thought that I would be able to stand out more as a low income student in the single choice early action pool through the common app because in that pool it's not only going to be low income students so i thought that i would have to stand out especially compared to the middle class and the more bougie rich kids because if i applied through questbridge i would be compared to a bunch of the other applicants who also have similar lower income struggles that i had however i think that i was wrong because yale's website specifically says here that yale has no preference for any option and no option increases an applicant's chance of admission or the size of their financial aid offer so in terms of applying this to you use that as you will but one thing the t that i was going to mention is that for most of these colleges if you are a low-income student if you make below a certain amount you basically get a full ride anyways but it really depends on the specific college but for Yale for example whether I applied as a national college match finalist through Questbridge program and got in and got matched is what they say or if I just got in through regular decision or single choice early action I was going to get a full ride either way so it was sort of redundant in that sense in terms of my experiences with Questbridge as a college student honestly I wasn't that involved at all but I do have a lot of close friends who were involved so Questbridge has Questbridge chapters which are organizations throughout all of the partner colleges so at Yale for example you can apply for board positions in Yale's chapter organize events host workshops, etc, etc. There are also several group chats and groups at Yale, for example, Facebook group chats, group me. And it's really great and comforting having people who come from similar backgrounds. So you can talk to older people about like financial aid issues, social life help, pretty much anything. I was also a Questbridge mentor or basically underclassmen who are incoming freshmen. I mentored them and served as another um, college resource for them, even though I'm not really, I don't really know anything, but in all honesty, the Questbridge group is amazing, it is there, but at the end of the day, it's what you make out of it. And I didn't really make out with it. I mean, I didn't. I didn't really use it to its fullest potential, but it was still there and I was still able to get benefit from it. Okay, so what about my experience with Questbridge as an alumni? It's great having these emails and the interface is awesome on the website. And there's so many resources, like you can literally connect with this huge alumni database of people in many different diverse fields across the country and the world, essentially. Maybe after this video, I'll look into it more, but it's really nice getting, you know, a Questbridge alumni sticker. That's the thing that they do. A little postcard that is slightly bent as well as an uh, ta the tassel thing, which came in late, so I wasn't able to use it during graduation, such a pity. But the email list is super useful. They send a lot of resources, tips, workshops, Zoom seminars. Overall, if you're a first generation low income student or a student who comes from an under-resourced background in any way, definitely apply because at the very least, it provides a lot of great resources, a great community. Both the College Prep Scholar and National College Match Finalist Awards are great to have on your resume, even if you don't end up using the Questbridge option. So I would 100% recommend to consider it. And as the months and years pass on, Questbridge's network and resources just continue to grow. That's pretty much it for this video, but if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification icon. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <sighs> what a pity. What a pity.